Coming in number 8, we've got the Dell XPS 8940. On the exterior, it's not flashy, but it's a conservative laptop that would fit in as easily as a cubicle, home office, or dorm room. Regardless of what configuration you choose, you'll find something that matches your needs, especially since Dell builds them custom ordered. The options are endless, but you can easily configure a powerful machine under $1,000 that you'll be happy with. The system makes out with the NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super GPU, as well as the 10-core Intel Core i9. That's a lot of performance potential, though the lower-end options will get you the best bang for your buck. Coming at 7, Dell G5 Gaming Desktop. When picking up the best desktop, we wanted something that can do everything at an affordable price. That's the Dell G5 Gaming Desktop to a T. Even its $686 base model is a solid PC, including a GTX 1650 Super and Quad Core 10th Gen Intel Core i3 processor. That's plenty of power for most students. Whether you're working on a video project, editing photos, coding a game, or just writing your research paper. Even though most students will be able to get by with an inexpensive desktop, with a competent processor, more and more schools are requiring projects that rely on graphics power as part of the curriculum. And having a discrete GPU will be beneficial. The Dell G5 gaming desktop, though it's marketed as an inexpensive gaming rig, delivers on this front with up to an Intel Core i9-10900KF and options for discrete graphics all the way up to an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super that's as powerful as mainstream PCs get. Number 6. HP Omen Obelisk Not everyone has the time or interest to build their own gaming PC from scratch. The HP Omen Obelisk gives you most of the benefits of building your own system without any of the hassle. It's extremely easy to upgrade, offers nearly limitless configurations, and still gives you a look through the tempered glass at your glowing gaming behemoth. You can save a bit more money by opting for slightly less powerful parts without sacrificing much performance too. Our review unit, which can be found for as low as $1,700 on sale, comes with an older 9th generation processor and an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super. We love the HP Omen Obelisk, but buying one right now can be difficult. The 10th gen models haven't yet arrived and configurations are limited. That'll likely change in the future though, and you still get some great deals on the older models. Coming at number five, Alienware Aurora. Alienware is Dell's gaming brand, but a gaming computer is just a well-spec machine that can do most things well. The PC comes as towers, so you'll need to factor in the cost of a monitor, mouse, keyboard, and speaker slash headset as additional purchases. What you get, however, will blow away the other machines on this list. There's the option of a 16-core AMD CPU, for one thing, backed by up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and enough storage to amass a bulging game library. You can even specify dual graphics processors, but you'll pay for the privilege. The Black Aurora towers aren't much to look at. There are no see-through side panels, so you can take a look at your components humming away. But you do get innovative, tool-free access to the innards, which are upgradable and cooling. That's so well thought out, you might hardly notice the PC has been switched on. Buying one of these is complete overkill for home office work. But for a genuine do-anything machine that will throw 4K video around and play the latest games as easily as it browses the web and fires up Word documents, then the Aurora range is hard to beat. Coming in number 4, Lenovo Idea Center. Lenovo range of all-in-ones and desktop towers is broad, with some budget-friendly options mixed in with the more powerful offerings. Design-wise, we're big fans of the AIO A540 with its off-center supporting leg, a flourish that helps it stand out from the competition. If you need more processing horsepower, 
then the 720 tower is worth a look, offering plenty of RAM and storage and a discreet GPU for gaming and video work. If that's not your thing, then Lenovo's all-in-one live up to their name. Screens measure in up to 27 inches and 9th generation Intel processors mean Windows 10 performance is snappy. There's a shark circling at the bottom of this particular pond. The Lenovo Yoga A series is an all-in-one like no other, with the option of i9 processors and up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, a 27-inch 4K touchscreen and large amounts of fast solid-state storage. It's expensive, but if you're creating project-critical content from home, there's little to touch it outside the iMac Pro. Number 3. Dell XPS 8930 Desktop Dell's Inspiron range covers iMac alike, all-in-one machines, as well as traditional desktop tower computers, like the Dell XPS 8930, which only the tower PCs offer build-to-order options suitable for gaming or other heavy graphics work. The all-in-one machines have fast, 10th generation Intel processors and solid-state flash storage. We're big fans of the Dell XPS 8930 thanks to its highly customizable, powerful hardware options and compact form factor, as far as tower PCs go anyway. While the tower PC aesthetic isn't for everyone, the Dell XPS 8930 has a sleek and professional appearance with a gloss black finish and very little in the way of garish bling that you might find on a gaming PC. There are a few downsides to a power PC over an all-in-one though, namely that you'll need to buy a monitor separately, along with a mouse and keyboard. They also take up more space than an all-in-one PC, but the trade-off comes in their flexibility and upgradability. You can easily add more RAM or replace the graphics card on a tower PC. That's where the Dell XPS 8930 excels. If you need a PC that can do it all, this is the one for you. Coming in number two, Mac Mini 2020. Recently upgraded to double its internal flash storage, the Mac Mini starts at just $800. You'll need to add a monitor, keyboard, and mouse to that to actually be able to use it, of course. And by adding options through the build to order website, it's possible to spec yourself a decently powerful computer. As long as you don't need graphics processing performance, the Mini is never going to be a games machine. As with the iMac, the Mac Mini comes with Apple's Mac OS operating system rather than Windows, although you can install Microsoft OS if you want to. Choosing between the two is largely a matter of taste, with no single big feature one can do that the other can't. The Mac Mini is at the bottom of Apple's range, and despite the built-in order options, it's never going to be the computer you want if your interests include 3D rendering or anything that needs a GPU. With an Intel 8th Gen 8-core i7 CPU, however, it will blitz its way through photo editing and any other CPU-intensive tasks with ease. It's the perfect home office machine and also excels as a media center, connecting to a TV directly or storing your media on its large, fast SSD and serving it via a system such as Plex. And it's so small, you can easily keep it in a cupboard. Number one, Apple iMac. You have seen the Apple iMac in various forms since its launch in 1998 on an innumerable TV shows and on the desks of everyone from CEOs to hairdressers. Essentially a screen with a computer attached to its back. Its current incarnation with screens up to 27 inches and with a slender, graceful design that accumulates in a single aluminum foot is unmistakable and much imitated. In order to keep its thin profile but still maintain desktop levels of performance, the iMac makes much use of some portable computer parts, such as low-profile RAM modules. These don't have any effect on the computer's processing power, especially true of the iMac's professional cousin, the iMac Pro. And the large screen allows for decent cooling to be installed behind it. Apple has always been one of the first companies to adopt new connection technology, and the two Thunderbolt 3 ports found on the back of the iMac are some of the fastest out there, 
capable of connecting both to fast external storage or to an external monitor for even more screen space. At the time of writing, iMacs are available with 7th and 8th generation Intel processors and start at $1,099 for a 21.5 inch model. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best home computers. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite one? And if you like this content, 